How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria how-to video. So, basically, um, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to farm uh, some of the souls. So when you first start in hard mode, you'll notice that some of the monsters drop uh, souls of night, like we just saw there. And they're used to do a lot of the early hard mode crafting. Um, so there's the soul of light and soul of night and they're used to uh, they're used to craft a lot of the boss summoning items <clears throat> and they are hard to collect um, if you don't have a good farming system for them so you can collect them just by running around and fighting but what I'm going to show you here is how to set up a nice farm for them and even a little trick to boost the the speed of your farming that some people may not have thought of. So the first rule for Souls of Night to come out, and I've got a perfect example here, is you've got to be below the cavern layer. So when you first go underground, there's this lighter coloured wall. And you can see it's got little flakes of green in it. Um, sorry, I'll just kill this. Go away. You're interrupting the video. Okay. So, yeah, it's got little flakes of green close to the surface. It's usually got weaker monsters in it. Um, you have to start your farm just below it. And usually the music will change once you drop down. So you can see the walls darker now. Um, and then what you need to do is it only drops in corruption biomes. Now, this wasn't a corruption biome when I started. Um, you can still see little patches of dirt and the walls are still normal coloured. So this isn't actually a corruption biome, but I've made it into one. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually pretty easy um, once you get to it. So the first thing I've done is um, I'm a bit later in the game at the moment. Um, so I'm just going back and filming some videos. That's why my equipment seems a bit, bit overpowered for where we're up to. So you need one of the faster drills. So you can do it with a cobalt drill, the mithril or the adamantite. And this used to be all stone in here. So it was all filled in. And all you do is, once you've got the quicker drills, you can just get the drill and literally, oh, I got confused by the bat, sorry. <laughs> okay, the drill pretty much makes, you can see how quickly and the cobalt drill is not much slower than this. So you can see clearing out an area is not going to take that long for you. So you clear out a fairly decent portion of a room. And then what I went and did after that is I took just stone and I went down underneath and I was filling in, filling in gaps at the bottom of the screen. And you probably think, well, what's the point of that? And what you actually want to do is you want to give the enemies less room to spawn in. So the more off-screen room you fill in, the more likely the monsters are to spawn right near you. So as you can see, I haven't filled in this bottom bit, so they can spawn down there. Okay. And then, sorry, it's a high spawn area, that's why I picked it. <laughs> Okay, so then what you want to do, and I've just got a few even stone blocks, so you can mine the actual even stone once you're in, near the end of the normal mode of Terraria. You can actually mine it with the molten pickaxe. I think even earlier pickaxes than that. Anyway, so all you do is you take your even stone and you just start to lay it down on the ground. So you just start making a nice square walk space. And when I first got here, this was just normal stone just normal stone like this over here. But what happens is once you start laying even stone down, it starts corrupting the normal stone. So you are effectively, you know, spreading the corruption, but in this instance, it's well worth it. So, and that started to spread down. So if I go down here, you can see it's spread all the way down here and you can see all the normal stone around still. It looks like it's spreading yeah, it's spreading down here. Okay, and it it can't it can spread through ice, but not snow. So 
I could block it off if I wanted to and just put a layer, a couple of layers of snow or brick. But I can't be bothered. <laughs> There's items later in the game that can quickly... Ooh. Cool. What was that? Beam sword. 70 damage, that's pretty sweet. Although I picked up the pirate cutlass, which I'll go into in another video, which is really quick. Okay, so I'll just mine that off, because I like the nice walkway. Alright, and then the last trick, if you really want to, and you can see I'm getting Spawn of Knights throughout this video, uh, just because it's a corruption biome now. Now the last trick you can do, and if you think back all the way to the dungeon, which you normally go into at the start of the, well actually towards the end of the normal mode, you probably notice the dungeon has a ton of monsters in it, and occasionally there's a little buff up here that has a candle icon. If you actually mine those candles, uh, which are called water candles, they actually boost the monster spawn rate. So they, they make more monsters come on the screen. So all you need to do is you put a little platform and the water candle and now you can see increased sponsor monster spawn rate. So now if I just walk back and forward, there's actually going to be... Well, it was already fairly high, <laughs> but there should be more monsters now. And then basically, yeah, you just sort of walk around, fight, fight monsters, and yeah, over time, uh, you're going to get your Soul of Night, so a Soul of Light came up there. It was away from the corruption. Ironically, it looks like the spawn rates dropped since I planted that candle. That's funny. <laughs> now look, there could be uh, more efficient methods out there than this, but I found that you don't need a ton of Soul of Knights, but you do want to make some sort of farming, uh, <clears throat> farming method to get it going. And this is a pretty easy way just to go back and forward. It's nice and easy, lots of room to manoeuvre. Um, and yeah. Uh, so to get it started officially, I'm going to turn that back off. It's uh, see if tweaking it helps. To get a corruption biome started, you actually need 200 blocks of corruption of even stone. So when I got started, I just put 200 of these purple blocks there, and that officially made that area a corruption biome. So for stuff, what's that? Cool. You'll actually notice too, because you've made a really good farming location, I've noticed the item drop along here is just fantastic too. And those gold chests seem to spawn, the mimics. They drop really, really, really powerful items, the uh, gold chests, a lot of the accessories. So that can help too. So yeah, that's basically it. So I don't know, I think I feel over time the candle does boost monster spawn rate. It didn't seem to in this video, but have a play with it. You can use it in any location. So you know if you're farming slimes, you know, plant it down on the above world and you'll get more slimes coming out. Um, you can use it for lots of different things. So yeah. Um, if this has been a helpful video, leave a like. Um, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I really love making these videos. and. Yeah, happy to share the knowledge. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next game. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to make a... What's it called? It's one of the endgame ores. Where am I hiding it? Chloro, chlorophyll? Where are they? I didn't put them back, did I? Oops. Oh, there they are. Chlorophyte ores. I'm actually going to make a chlorophyte farm just above this. So I'll do that next video. Alright, stay happy, guys. See you next time.